So this one is a stress strain diagram. Here we are plotting the stress and on this one we have strain. This one is called as the conventional stress diagram or called as engineering stress strain diagram. For this one our true strain is defined as simply change in length upon original length. So this one is final length minus initial length divided by original length and stress is defined as force upon original area that equal to what? A0. This point is called as upper yield point. This one is called as lower yield point. But in practice, in practice, what happens? Is the area continuously decreases? Since the area will continuously decrease, so this graph will go deviate from this point and will go like this. So this one is called as true stress and strain diagram. Now to distinguish this, we will use the suffix sigma t and epsilon t. The maximum point at this one, we have SUT. So this one is max point. Curve. This one is called as flow curve. Flow curve is defined from this point up to this point. After this, necking will start. So this is necking point. At SUD, your necking will form. And once the necking will form, the chances of what? Fracture. So we have a fracture strength here. But what is the deformation is there? Is it always a plastic deformation? So this region is called as plastic deformation. The flow curve equation is given by sigma equals to sigma 0 into epsilon true strain to the power n. Sigma 0 is called as the flow constant. n is called as strain hardening coefficient. Strain hardening coefficient. So, SUT value, see here, SUT value for regular question is different and the same value will behave is a higher value when you are using what? Plastic deformation. Suppose SUT equal to 560, when you are doing the manufacturing of the same part, that value will be more than 560. Why this is so? because the area is continuously decreasing and we know that the stress is defined as what? Stress is defined as force upon area. If the area will decrease, the stress has to increase. Whereas for the lower model, the area was assumed to be what? Constant. So even the, when the work is here, the length is decreasing. No decrease in the diameter is considered because at this point necking is formed. Neck, neck has low area. So if the area is low, the stress at this point must be higher value. That is not considered for engineering curve. It is only considered for true stress. Exist a relation between true stress and the engineering stress. True strain and engineering strain. And the relation is given as true strain is always equals to ln of 1 plus the engineering strain that is epsilon. True strain equal to natural log of 1 plus engineering strain that is the strain given by this equation and this one is defined only for this curve that is for flow curve. Similarly, true stress is equal to the stress given by this curve that is engineering curve multiplied by 1 plus epsilon is okay. So, all values to be multiplied by 1 plus epsilon and remember it is a ln and second time is only multiplied by 1 by epsilon. So, you can easily remember 1 plus epsilon, 1 plus epsilon, this is epsilon. So, take natural log and we want stress this is dimensionless, epsilon is dimensionless. So, we have stress, so we have stress on this. And for SUD at this point, SUD the value of n is same as epsilon. SUD value of n is same as epsilon. Now, what is this epsilon? This epsilon is strength. Now, why this is so? Because if you draw a tangent to this one, is it a maxima? Is it correct? We can differentiate this equation, that is this equation, with respect to what? Sigma. Solve this. You will get this equation. So, for SUT only, n equals to what? n equals to strength, true strength. So, n will be same as true strength for SUT. This question is based on this diagram. A engineering material has the following property. The ultimate tensile strength is what? 340. <laughs> So, we have SUT equals to 340. The strain hardening coefficient is n equals to what? 0 0.2. So, n equals to 0 0.2. Now, for SUT, only for SUT is n is same as epsilon t. So, only for SUT condition, we have n equals to epsilon t equals to 0 0.2. You have to find out the true stress strain curve equation. The equation is given in the form of something like this. Sigma equals to 572 times epsilon. Is it point 0.2? One option is this. Second option I think is 286 epsilon. It's a true value always. The power point 0.2. The third option is given to you is 240. Sorry, 340. 340 epsilon t to the power what? Point 0.2. And third option, fourth option is 320. Point 0.2. So all values are point 0.2. And check this equation. Is it same form like this? Is it correct? So we have to find out which one is the correct equation for this graph. So let us try first. Data is clear? Okay, right. For SUD, n equal to epsilon t equals to 0 0.2. So, what is epsilon t? Epsilon t is epsilon t is ln 1 plus epsilon. That is this equation. So, let us put up this value. We have put up this is 0.2. This is ln 1 plus epsilon. 
let's find out epsilon value you are getting this value is 0.221 now check this equation this equation says that what is true stress true stress is sigma that is the stress given by this equation is it correct and sigma t is the stress given by this equation right now we are SUT what is this value given to you is 340 can we find out corresponding value here we can find out this value by using this equation can we we are given this value we are given this value can we transfer this value to this that is on true stress using this equation and for this equation for this one is this equation is valid equation in that case we can find out sigma 0 to find out sigma 0 you have to first find out what is the value of sigma here is this value of sigma is known to you at this point what is the value of sigma on engineering curve is 340 when this value is transferred here that will be called as true stress so we'll use this equation so we have true stress equal to it into 1 plus epsilon correct now what is the this value is same as SUT this value is SUT corresponding value we want to find out so this is SUT 1 plus epsilon so value recorded by engineering core is 340 and the same value will be recorded by the true stress strain core is by how much is that value 415.11 megapascal now come to this uh, this graph do you know the value of sigma at this point yes how much is value of sigma at this point is what 415 so we have sigma equal to sigma 0 into true strain the power is what n what is the value of sigma what is the value of true stress here so true stress here is what this value is 415 so we have 415.11 right now we are on this curve equals to we don't know sigma 0 but do you know epsilon t epsilon t and n they are same as 0 0.2 so we have 0 0.2 to the power 0 0.2 we can solve this and try to find out the value of sigma 0 that is called as the flow constant so in general this equation is given by this equation is given by that is the stress equation is given by the true stress is always equals to true stress is always equal to sigma 0 that equals to what sigma 0 multiplied by true strain the power equals to what n so just now we have find out value of sigma 0 equals to what 572 true strain variable quantity only for SUT the value of true strain equal to what n rest this value is not valid value and what is the power of this one is 0.2 so this equation is choice number one for the graph what is this value is this value sigma t how much is this value is it 415 and what is the SUD, SUD value is 340 so 340 in the engineering stress strain will become 415 now he want to know that if the true stress is 300 he want to know that that this stress is 300 what is the value of engineering stress do you understand the question you want to find out what engineering strain so he says that if sigma t is equal to what 300 then what is the value of engineering strain that is epsilon so how we proceed now we know the law so what is the law says law says that whatever the true stress we have that is 300 is always equal to what 572 that is the law equation into true strain and this power is always constant equal to what 0.2 from this we can solve for what epsilon t once we solve for true strain can we find out engineering strength so let's solve this for epsilon t that is the true strength so right sigma t epsilon t equals to right epsilon t equals to ln into 1 plus engineering strength so this value is what 0 0.0.0 is equals to ln 1 plus epsilon call this value for epsilon it's a 40.48 10 to the power minus 3 a cylindrical specimen still having an original diameter of what 12.8 so right d0 equals to 12.8 mm is tensile tested to fracture and found to have an engineering fracture strength fracture strength so let's show this one is sigma we write fracture f equal to 460 megapascal and if it's cross-sectional diameter at the fracture at the fracture is 10.7 mm we want to find out the true stress at the fracture is we want to find out what is the true stress at the fracture is first of all what about the what about the idea of engineering curve for engineering curve is stress multiplied by original area is always constant we will change the value of sigma 1 a 0 we got sigma 2 multiplied by a 0 will the value of a sigma will vary and value of a 0 what cost is that correct so we will never go for what the actual diameter of neck that is why your graph will go like this fine so for this one my force value also remains constant but 
according to my definition of true stress is that value will be sigma i have to take the actual area what is the actual area at this time is it f that you got this definition this data is related to what and for this curve what we have done we have assumed the diameter is constant but for this curve that we are going to design whether you consider the changes in the diameter your force will remain same your area will change therefore the value of true stress will also change so any of this data you can collect so this one is your fracture strength equals to what 460 initial area is equal to what pi by 4 into 12.8 square this one is sigma t into pi by 4 into df square is what 10.7 and remember your true stress is always greater than what your engineering stress you can solve this and you will get the approximate answer is 658 your value of true stress is always more this one is fracture strength and this one is corresponding true stress so this value was given to is what 460 and now is modified to what 658 a strain hardening exponent and for an alloy in which a true stress of 415 mega pascal produces a true strain of what 0.5 is you want to calculate values equals to what n value and we are given the value of strain coefficient equal to what 1035 so this one is sigma 0 so data sigma 0 is called as strain coefficient is constant over the given range what is the value of two stress two stress is 415 and we want the true strain is what 0.1 we want to calculate the value of what n so we have straightforward equation two stress equal to strain coefficient into epsilon t to the power n 415 1035 0.1 to the power n value is 0.3969 okay what is given in the next question in the material obeys the power law hardening and the true stress relation is given by this that is sigma true strain equal to 725 into epsilon true strain equal to 0.13 you want to calculate true ultimate tensile strength of this material you want to calculate true ultimate tensile strength for ultimate strength is epsilon t is same as n is same as 0.13 you want to calculate true ultimate true ultimate is what epsilon sigma t a 725 epsilon t is same as 0 0.13 and n is also 0 0.13 556 556 mega pascal is true stress so this maximum value will call is that SUT and how much is this value 400 and the elongation up to maximum load is what 35 now for this graph is this value is epsilon only epsilon so this value is what epsilon of 0 0.35 and he want to know what is the equation of this graph you want to know what is the equation of this graph what is sigma equals to what sigma 0 epsilon t to the power you want to find out this which is the best equation for this curve if SUT is there then is the value of n is same as epsilon t and is the value of epsilon t is same as ln 1 plus epsilon so this one is ln 1 plus epsilon is 0 0.35 so what is the true strand what is ln of 1.35.3 so for SUT for n is same as epsilon t equals to epsilon t equals to 0.3 okay so what we do now we will calculate the value of SUT first here that is this value of sigma once I know this value I can calculate sigma 0 got it so what is the true stress corresponds to what 400 mega pascal so 400 mega pascal is here let calculate what is the true stress corresponds to 400 mega pascal so that you can calculate by using the flow equation as sigma equals to sigma 0 into epsilon t to the power n sigma 0 sigma true stress sigma true stress will be equals to you can calculate this value as sigma into 1 plus equal to sigma 0 into epsilon t to the power n so what is sigma sigma is this value 400 1 plus this epsilon is this epsilon is 0.35 we don't know sigma 0 epsilon t is 0.3 to the 0.3 we have used this equation sigma t equals to what sigma 1 plus epsilon solve this for sigma 0 i think 770 775 775 and value of n is what 0.3 so this one is correct choice we have two choice of 0.3 and so we need to find out 540 or 775 so 775